Today I'm going to show you guys the best decks to be using with the Cannoneer Tower Troop. First up, Pekka Bridge Spam with Ram Rider. This deck is just insanely good. Cheap cycle. Pekka is so strong. You're going to see a common theme here. Wizard and Zap are going to be pretty much most of the ever deck. Next up, my own Golem deck with Wizard Zap. And then we have Nato and Arrows as our two other spells. Three spells, you got the Prince in there. Prince really does make a difference. I think that he's definitely just one of the best troops in the, in the game. And with the Golem decks, we kind of have to create, you know, some pressure opposite lane. So you can go like Golem Night Witch one lane, and then you can go Skelly King with the Prince and just use Wizard and the spells to clean up pretty much anything. Uh, yeah, just a really good, solid deck that I've been using recently and made it myself. Next up, we have the Goblin Giant Double Prince deck. I don't think Golem would work a Double Prince just because of how expensive it is, and this is a more spammy type deck. I've had a ton of success with this deck recently. A lot more than Pekka, which is kind of weird, but yeah, this is the, uh, probably the best deck to be using right now. It's really easy to use, and I mean, I'll just show you guys. And then next up, we have Elixir Golem, again, with the Wizard Evo. This is probably the most toxic deck, because if you are if you really outplay your opponent early on, and, like, you get tons of opportunities to because of how cheap this cycle is. We're going to be using the Pekka Bridge Spam deck first, and our opponent has the Princess Tower. He's got Sparky. I'm going to go Wizard towards that. It's probably going to be Goblin Giant with the Elite Barbarians, possibly. I mean, it could be anything, but that's what I've been seeing a lot lately. So we'll see what happens here. All right, that was a was a good NATO. Kind of got me there, not gonna lie. Oh, nice void, beautiful void, beautiful E Spirit. Yeah, I'm thinking this is Goblin Giant. We shall see. I'm going to go Royal Ghost. Let's see what he's got. Executioner. Um, I'll go Bandit too. Why not? Try and take that out. Okay, he's got Barbarians. At least it's not Elite Barbarians. He tries to void. I got Ram Rider. All right, we're just going to go Ram Rider now so we don't waste our wizard. He goes with the Sparky. I'm just going to zap the Sparky and get a Void down. This is so much damage. That's going to be Tower. Let's go. Not even close. Not even close. All right. He's got to do something. It, he probably doesn't have the Goblin Giant if he's not playing it right now. Or he doesn't have the Evo. I don't really know. <laughs> I'm so confused. This guy is just playing so bad right now. Giant. It's not even Goblin Giant. That's crazy. Well. I can get a Ram Rider going. I'm gonna get another void here too. I'm gonna have to. I kind of forgot about his whole barbarians. Uh, so. Pekka's still alive. Doesn't even matter. Let's go, bandit. Let's get that ghost in. W defense. Let's go, guys. Just gonna wait and see what he's got. Wizard is our only, like, air defense, so... Kind of have to be careful with him. But using Wizard with the Tornado is what you want. I can just go Night Witch. And honestly, we could probably also go with Prince here. Prince is pretty good against Bowler. Okay, he's got E-Giant. 
Last time I destroyed E Giant, so we'll see how it goes this time, though. Alright, now we go Wizard. I'm gonna zap. Perfect. Wizard's still alive. Might get a hit. I'm not entirely sure if it will get a hit on the tower or not. Let's see. It does. That's crazy. <laughs> that Wither. Wi the Wither buff? The Wither buff? The Wizard buff. Um, damn. That's, that's insane. Wizard's so strong. Alright, I'm just gonna go Golem. See what he does here. He goes Goblin Cage. We're just gonna wait. Night Witch is on the Bowler, which is huge. Bowler is going to die to arrows here. Oh. The bats end up finishing out and pretty solid. Um, I think we'll be just fine. Yeah, I gotta get wizard here. I'm gonna pop ability here. Let's get a night witch in the back. We'll get a golem going. And we'll try keep pressuring this lane. He might go E-Giant, though. So we'll have to see. Okay, he goes Goblin Cage. I'm going to have to Evo Zap and arrow this. Nice, we get the Bomber as well. Alright, we go Prince. Take out that Bowler, please. Nice, got the Egg. Another Cage. We can just go with another Night Witch. Got to get another Golem ASAP. We don't gotta do much here. He might go with the uh, E Giant right now. No? Okay. I'll go Skelly King still. Gonna zap and arrow that. Please. Alright. Golem gets through. That's what we need. Okay. He Nados. I'm gonna go Wizard. Get that egg. Let's go. I should get the Bowler and the Brawler. Nice, nice. I'm going to go Prince. Get in front, get in front. It's not. I got a zap. Wizard's still on the bowler. Wizard's still on the bowler hitting the tower. Wizard. Oh my lord. Wizard. We have to arrow that. It did miss the tower though, so that's quite interesting. I thought it definitely hit. Alright, we'll just go Golem here. And we pretty much got the game in the bag. He has NATO, so I can't really go Wizard right now. Uh, actually, I'll go Wizard all the way over here. Just arrow onto that Bomber. I'm going to get a Skelly King to kind of protect the Wizard here. Tries to NATO, but it kind of fails. Alright, I'm just going to go Prince. I just have to play defense. Need lightnings. I'm gonna NATO all of this back. I'm gonna get arrows down as well. Let's get a prince. Create some pressure. He can't spell cycle us here. We got Evo Zap. We got Tornado. We got arrows. That was pretty close. If I didn't NATO back that bomb, we're not gonna lie, but we come out with a dub. Let's go. Alright, so basically all you need to do is just go Goblin Giant in the back and you win the game. <laughs> well, that's how it feels sometimes, but looking at this right now. Alright, so I gotta hit Rage just because we need Zap. He goes with the Goblin Giant too. Yeah, we needed to Zap that. Goblin Giant's still gonna get there. Kind of have a tough matchup here. But we do get some good damage already. And we're already back to our Goblin Giant. So I could either go Goblin Giant or Prince. I think I'm going to go Prince. Because I think I can take advantage of this situation more. 
a lot better. Well, if we went Goblin Giant, the mini pack would have been tough to deal with, so. Kind of glad we didn't do that. But. I'm definitely just going to go with uh, the Goblin Giant at the bridge. Get Bomber, cycle to our Zap. I'm going to let the Sparky tank a hit. And then I'm going to Zap the uh, Sparky, allow the Goblins to get to it. And that's going to be a dead Sparky. Let's go. Guys, this deck is just so easy to play if you're able to recognize that your opponent... kind of over commits or just doesn't have a good defense like sparky's very vulnerable if you get have zap and play it correctly so but look at this um the decent amount of damage there i'm not sure if he can get more if i just keep playing defense i think i have a pretty good defense against him he's got to do something i really don't i'm just gonna go goblin giant He's not go doing anything, and it doesn't really benefit me to kind of sit around and wait. I'm just going to go double prince the right lane. Get us Phoenix down right here. Nice, we don't get the Mega Minion. I'm going to have to Evo Zap, which is unfortunate. I didn't have to. I kind of just misplayed, not going to lie. Um... I gotta go Dark Prince though here. Phoenix. I'm gonna zap quick. Get a rage. Bomber down fast. Nice. There's no way he can do that much damage. She just has arrows, I think. Let's go. That was close. Currently ranked 2075, and we have the last deck here, which is Elixir Golem. Spam. 3.1 cycle. It's absolutely insane sometimes um it's it's quite a crazy deck quite a very crazy deck but it's a lot of fun not gonna lie i really hate facing it but playing it different story and it's it's just really easy to play it's a pretty much exactly like the goblin giant deck but faster cycle and you're utilizing split pushes a lot more that's how you get most of your value like you want to make sure you have your skeleton king down like, I don't think playing early can really benefit you too much with this deck. Only if they have, like, Cannoneer or Dagger Duchess, but Princess Tower is a different story. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to wait. I'm not even going to reveal, like, anything I have so he doesn't know what I'm playing. And then, yeah, we have Wizard, we have Night Witch, but... You really do want to get down your Skeleton King first and then start cycling for that three-card cycle. Alright, I'm going to go Skelly King. And also get Wizard down on that. Because I don't think Skelly King will be enough. Let's see if he voids this or not. He's got Poison. Wizard will stay alive, but since he used Poison, I'm going to go Night Witch. He goes with Guards. I'm going to kind of tank some hits here, build up all my Elixir. Cycle Skeletons. I'm going to get a Void on that Musky. Full Rage. And Arrows. Take everything out. We get a little bit of damage, but honestly not enough to really make me happy about that. But Cannon Cart is pretty good. It's kind of a kind of a good counter to this deck. It's probably why people aren't playing this as much recently. Alright, I'm going to go Night Witch. He does have Poison though, so... Probably just go opposite lane with the elixir golem. Can't really go wizard into that. I'll just split skeletons. Go skelly king. Get some arrows down. 
Monk is down. I'm actually going to go Wizard. He just uses Poison. Oh, he just used Evo Zap too. Alright, well, I'm going to go double Elixir Golem on this side. I'm just going to get a Rage down. Also some Arrows. Nightwish, please take out the cannon cart. Nice. Alright. This is kind of bad. Alright. So Galley King down. Then we go Elixir Golem. Gonna go Nightwish that lane too. Okay. He does have Graveyard. That is not cool. I'm gonna go Skeletons. I'm gonna pop Skelly King ability. We gotta go Arrows here. I'm gonna Rage it as well. Please take out that candy cart. I think it will. Alright, now we're going to go another Nightwish. He just used poison. Nightwish, please take out that musky. Almost. Alright. If I go Skelly King, Void. Should take out a majority of this. And we can go Elixir Golem. And we really got to rage it up. We got to rage that thing up. Nice. Alright. Let's go Skeleton King. Let's go with Void Arrows. I don't know what to do. I'm kind of panicking. Alright. I gotta go Elixir Golem now. Oh, Elixir Golems just got there. That was so close. Oh my, I thought I lost. Let's go, guys. All right, guys, those are the four best decks. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. I will be live streaming. Catch me on YouTube, Twitch, or TikTok. But if you're on YouTube and I start playing music, the live could possibly be taken down. So make sure you're on Twitch and TikTok if I start playing music.